professors. Let's give another round of applause for Winnie. The topic for our 11th presentation is the similarities and differences of initial consonant sounds between Thai and Chinese languages, a documentary research. Please welcome our 11th speaker, Oratip Kiradibun Po. Good afternoon, professors, ladies and gentlemen. I am Oratip Kirati Udipo, a PhD candidate in applied linguistics from Mahidol University, Thailand. Today, I would like to present on the topic the similarities and differences of initial consonant sounds between Thai and Chinese languages. This is a documentary research, which is a part of my PhD dissertation entitled The Development of a Situation Based Instructional Model and an online course of Thai for survival for TFL learners. Uh, because of my population of the PhD dissertation is the Chinese university student who study Thai language in Thailand. Then I do the review of the research study like this. So uh, nowadays there, are, there is a number of foreigners who are interested in learning Thai as a foreign language with the several reasons such as for traveling, for working, for studying, and for living. Chinese TFL learners, the word TFL stands for Thai as a foreign language. They are the largest number of foreign university students who study in the program of Thai as a foreign language in the university in Thailand. As Thai and Chinese are the tonal languages, so many people think that Chinese people possibly learn Thai easily. Anyway, languages in the world are speaking in different varieties, and the previous studies highlight that the majority problems in using Thai language of Chinese TFL learners are in the speaking and listening skills, especially in the initial consonant sounds. Therefore, this study aims to classify the similarities and differences of initial consonant sounds between Thai and Chinese languages, which may cause difficulties in listening and speaking Thai of Chinese TFL learners. The research papers were searched from the two electronic databases, Thai Library Integrated System and Thai Journal Online. The research paper concerning the problem in using Thai language of Chinese TFL learners, which were published in the peer review journal of Thai Journal Citation Index Center between 2007 to 2017, were selected to study. The research instrument in this study was the comparative table of such similarities and differences between Thai and Chinese initial consonant sounds. The data collection procedure start from searching the research papers, skimming each research paper twice, scanning the results of each research paper, and comparing the similarities and differences of the initial consonant sounds between the two languages and putting the research results into the table. The results reveal that the word formation, the Thai word is comprised at least three elements, initial consonant, vowel, and tone, in giving the meaningful speech or writing. And some Thai words comprise with four elements, initial consonant, vowel, final consonant, and tone, while Chinese words comprised with just one character in which completely represent both sound and meaning. The sample word of Thai word, this word, pronounced man, which means mother is comprised from m, which is initial consonant, vowel, a, and low tone. Then it becomes the word man. Another one word, ba, which means house or home, uh, this word comprised from initial sound, initial consonant sound b, plus vowel a, plus final consonant m, 
and funny tone. It becomes the word ban. Why the Chinese word do you see there just only one character represent both sound and meaning? For example, word Tian, which means day, sky, heaven, and the word Pan, which means on top, above, upper. Do you notice that Thai words can be specified sound elements, but Chinese word you cannot specify specify the sound is meant like a, the initial consonant sounds, vowel, final consonant sounds, and tone. So, Thai consonant alphabet are at phoneme level, and Chinese characters are at morpheme level. Thai words can be specified the sounds in the mass of breath, but Chinese words cannot. However, Chinese words can be specified the sounds in the mass by using the transcription method, which is called as pinyin. According to the transcription made by Pinyin, Chinese initial consonant sounds are therefore classified into 23 phonemes of initial consonant sounds, while Thai initial consonant sounds are classified into 21 phonemes according to the Thai sound system. Although Thai sounds, there are 44 consonant alphabet, but they are just 21 phonemes or 21 initial consonant sounds because some of Thai alphabet has the same sound like this comparative table. The first column is the Thai consonant alphabet. The second column is Thai initial consonant transcribed by using phonetic alphabet. And the third column is Chinese initial consonant sound transcribed by using pinyin. You will notice that some Thai initial consonant sounds similar to Chinese initial consonant sound, but some Thai initial consonant sounds are absent in Chinese initial consonant sounds. So there are 17 similar initial consonant sounds and four different initial consonant sounds between Thai and Chinese language. The difference sounds of initial consonant between Thai and Chinese may cause the difficulties in listening and speaking type of Chinese TFL learners. The four different sounds, they are B, D, N, and A. Nonetheless, the review of the previous studies found that there are 12 sounds problems of Thai initial consonant experienced by Chinese TFL learners. The other eight sounds are and Although those eight sounds of Thai initial consonants are similar to Chinese initial consonant sounds, they may be different in the accent of pronunciation that probably cause the difficulties in the actual listening and speaking Thai of Chinese TFL learners. The 12 sounds problem of Thai initial consonants could be classified into seven suspicious pairs. They are P and B, P and P, K and K, D and T, T and T, L and R, N and E. Okay. <laughs> so, in conclusion, the similarities of initial consonant sounds between Thai and Chinese language may be helpful for Chinese TFL learners, Chinese people to learn to speak and listen Thai language, but it may not always be taken advantage. In the same ways, the difference of initial consonant sounds between two languages may not indicate a certain numbers of sound problems that cause the difficulties in listening and speaking Thai of Chinese TFL learners. This study would be benefit for Thai teachers who teach Thai to foreigners, like the Chinese TFL learners and also other foreigners, as it is the guideline for a teacher to teach Thai sound system to Chinese TFL learners before they are going to learn to listen and speak later, and provide them the practice with the suspicious pair of Thai sound system before they are going to learn to the higher level. This is all of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Raju. Thank you. We will now move into a Q&A session.
If you have no questions, so I think uh, your, present, uh, your presentation is uh, really helpful for, as you said, for uh, teachers who teach languages, not only Thai teachers who teach uh, Chinese students, but also Chinese teacher, right, who teach uh, Thai or learn Thai language also, right? Yes, yes. And I mean, I don't know anything about Chinese language, <laughs> but I can imagine about, uh, I mean, comparison between uh, Thai and English. Yes, I, so I can uh, get your idea as how to uh, compare and how yeah. to use this uh, benefit to, to teach, uh, to implement, to teach our students the different languages. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you so much. Just have one question, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your presentation. It was very clearly presented. I just wanted to mention that it was very easy to follow. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I just noticed, uh, so the Czech name, Cisco, are there. So, do you, do you know? So, like, it's this Czech, Czech name, so in uh, the literature sources, so you had it. Because, so there is another strange sound worth exploring. It is the J. J. Yes. Uh -huh. so, I see. Cisco. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, professors. Let's give another round of applause for our team. The next topic, the topic for our 12th 